everyone, I am in Foodland Farms today and I thought I would show you how I grocery shop at the grocery store. The first section I always head to is produce and that will typically be the first section as you enter the store. My rule of thumb is anything green or leafy green is typically best for you. And another good tip is that I will always stay away from pre-packaged and pre-plastic containered types of salads. The reason why is thoroughly washed and pre-washed produce always goes through some form of a chlorine rinse. Yeah, and that's not really good for your digestive system. So in general, we do try to limit tomatoes and onions because they have more carbs than you realize. Tomato is actually a fruit. I know many people have forgotten that. And then potatoes, right, are a root vegetable. So they're gonna be very starchy and very high in carbs that are gonna convert into sugar after you eat them. Many of you know how I feel about fruit. And so we generally extremely limit this category or stay away. Fruit is not supposed to be growing and available year round people, nor is it typically originally this bright in color and this size. And again, just too much plastic waste. Alrighty guys, straight from the produce section, I go to the meats. So let's head there. Okay people, meat and seafood is next. And so things like scallops and mussels and all the different types of fish that exist are good to eat. You do want to try to choose wild caught over farm raised for fish as much as possible. Now I do get asked a lot about imitation seafoods like imitation crab meat as well as fish cake but if you look at labels closely you will see that things like fish cake are actually very high carb so just be careful of stuff like that so is imitation crab meat right and in general in life you don't want to eat too many things that start with the word imitation Please, please remember that salmon is not the only type of fish that exists. Here is some butterfish and some ahi fillets. So make sure you are eating a variety of fish. Look at these shutome fillets and they're wild caught. So stuff like that, put it in your cart. Oh gosh, I had to stop for a second and just take a video of those lovely tomahawk steaks. Yum! And look at these wild lamb racks from the island of Ni'ihau. That's amazing. See you guys, so much to choose from. There are all different types of red meat that are available in stores. So don't just think steak and ground beef. Think of everything. Think of all the different cuts and learn to shop sales. By shopping what's on sale, you will organically rotate your proteins. And for those of you who have never tried a bison burger, jury's out. Bison, in terms of burgers, actually tastes way better than ground beef. That's a friendly tip. Okay, people, don't think too many sausages and hot dogs and that type of thing when you're thinking protein. We're talking real meats, okay? We're talking pork chops. There we go, look at that, on sale, perfect ground pork i love making stir fries with ground pork you also have chicken okay so all these wonderful types of proteins that are available that are not spam hot dogs and vienna sausage now typically i don't go up and down any of the middle aisles of the store i'm always only shopping the perimeter produce meats and then eggs and dairy but the frozen aisle that you will catch me walking down is the frozen veggie aisle. Frozen veggies are often flash frozen shortly after being picked. So they do retain a lot of their original nutrients. Okay, so this is a great example of some greens that you can get that are frozen, as well as cauliflower rice. Always frozen, another great substitute for rice. Zucchini spirals are life, you guys, as a great substitute for pasta. That's what you want to go for. Okay, guys, 
eggs and dairy. And before I hit that section, I just want you to know that is not cheese. Don't eat that. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Raise your hand if you were raised on country crock and I can't believe it's not butter. Just like the name says, it's not butter people, it is butter flavored oil. That is what margarine is. So what the heck is butter? I get asked this question so many times it blows my mind, but that's how far we've come from remembering what the heck real food is. Butter typically comes in a box, in blocks. It says butter on it, not, not butter. Like I can't believe it's not butter, but butter butter, okay? And if you're not sure, like, okay, look at these guys over here. Plant butter. Oh, with avocado oil, it must be good for me. Well, I'm just gonna double check for you guys. Cause you know, I am the ingredient Nazi over here. We have a blend of plant-based oils. That's eh, big red X. Palm fruit oil, palm kernel oil, canola oil, bad. Bad, you guys, okay? So just be careful of marketing gimmicks. And then you're gonna think it's better for you because it comes from a plant. No, 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 no. Because all of these seed oils are bad, B-A-D, bad. They cause lots of inflammation and other issues in your body. You, sir, are gonna go right back there. Now I wanna give a quick shout out to this brand of milk, which interestingly is on the bottom. I don't work here, but let me just fix this guy for the store. Fairlife Milk, please get whole milk, people is just, they, there's 50% less sugar in it, lots of protein. If you turn around, like all the milks in the store, you'll see that it has the lowest carb content out of any milk. So if you're gonna drink whole milk, which my patients are allowed to do in moderation, this is the brand you wanna do. And let me take this opportunity to teach you that typically when something says low fat on a label, that means it's got higher sugar. Yep. And typically one of the last stops for me is eggs. Now let's talk about eggs real quick. The egg yolk has 19 vitamins and minerals. So for all you people that are eating egg whites, stop with the madness and start eating the yolk. I try to support local farms more than the mainland guys just because you got to support your local businesses so like this brand here island fresh it's from wailua it's cage free hawaiian solar power and it's on sale so i would be much more apt to buy this today than i would this and i know there's a price difference guys but come on support your local farmers as much as you can so people, typically I am in and out of a grocery store within 10 to 15 minutes. Think about it, right? Produce, meats, dairy, eggs, get out of the store and here is why. As I casually peruse the middle aisles of the grocery store, this is where you're gonna find all the crap. Bagels, bread, good lord, look at all these types of breads. Oh, but it's wheat. Oh, but it's sprouted. Oh, good Lord, it's keto. Not keto, people. Don't fall for the lies, okay? In every grocery store, what you're gonna find in the middle aisles are the junks, especially the stuff at eye level. Now I'm short, but still, okay? Cookies, crackers, all of this kind of stuff. How many different flavors of Oreos do we need, people? This is madness granola, sugar, and beans. Oh my, we're not trying to have a fart fest. You guys, beans turn into sugar, just FYI. Yes, what was once a staple for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in my younger days. Oh, this was the one, people, that was the one. Cereal, oatmeal. Oh, but oatmeal is healthy, I thought. Nope, turns into sugar. Granola bars. Just stay out of it because if you're anything like me, just seeing it triggers you and then you're gonna wanna buy it and then you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's on sale, I have to buy it. You actually don't have to buy it. 
but just stay away so that's my video for you guys today shop the perimeter of the store stick to the designated sections and get out of there in 10 to 15 minutes take care